Dale Pearson and Cassell regroup with the team. Everyone is eager to see the footage claimed by the Trojan squid. I think this is it. Will they finally have visual photographic evidence of what they've long suspected? A giant, ferocious Humboldt squid, the model for the Kraken. Oh, <laughs> that was a big that was one. A big squid. Did you oh. see that? Oh. oh. So that thing attacked the camera, even though it was close to a squid. Right. He didn't attack the squid, he attacked the camera on the squid. Right. And he didn't even really bite it. It's like he was feeling it to see what it was hooked to his buddy. Then, out of the darkness, Whoa. Oh. at a thousand feet, an apparition. Although it's difficult to tell, this squid appears to be enormous. Is it a giant squid? A colossal squid? Or is it the extra-large Humboldt that we're looking for? Because of the size of that squid and the, how much it shocked him, is that is it possible that that was an Architeuthis? Because the camera's a thousand feet deep. Is that possible that was an Architeuthis making an attempted strike on our Decidicus gigas, a camera squid? You know what? That's that's a question I can't answer right now. Two days later, back in Minnesota, Highcheck sees the footage for the first time. That is a massive animal. When you play the footage full speed, you can see the huge suckers that are about the size of coffee cup lids I get in the morning. And also, if I'm going by the eye reflection, the beak would be somewhere in here. I mean, this is a huge distance. And so, based on that, what I know, I mean, this animal's fins would be way back here. I mean, it'd be way off the monitor. I'm very, very interested in what Roger Hanlon would have to say from the marine biology lab on what species. I mean, I just, I can't comprehend this is a Humboldt. Even I can't. I mean, it's just absolutely massive. First impressions, gut reaction, it's big. In terms of distinguishing it as a Humboldt or something else, that's a lot more difficult. The video does not provide enough detail for Hanlon to be able to discern the species, but it may still be possible to estimate its size. Peter Schmitz is a video analysis expert with motion engineering, specializing in video forensics. What we're trying to do is determine the distance the target is from the camera. And by doing that, it gives us a, 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 another avenue to help determine the size of the target. Peter has the camera and light system specifications from the manufacturer, including the details of its performance in salt water. First thing I'm going to do is put in the sensor information uh, as to the resolution of the sensor. Um, this will help me determine the area that we're going to be looking at. Um, I also have to put in the lens information, which in this case happened to be a 3.2 millimeter lens, which and quite frankly is going to make things that are at a distance look much smaller than they really are. Using light throw and depth of field data, Peter should be able to calculate the distance between the animal's beak and its eye, the last visible part of the squid's body within range of the light. What I'm doing is I'm setting up the system to measure based on the creature's arms and the reflective eye. And based on the information measuring from that reflector to the creature's mouth, which should be right in the middle of the arms here, we can get a close estimate on how big this creature really is. Another way to decide the overall size of the monster is to determine the arm diameter. The arms are over a foot and a half in diameter. This thing has some monster arms coming out of this. With this data, biologists can use known squid dimensions to create a comparative estimate. The first calculation uses Humboldt squid proportions. Based on this measurement, it could be upwards of 60 feet in length. This 60-foot estimate makes this beast almost 10 times larger than the largest known Humboldt squid, making it the largest squid of any species ever recorded. But if the animal here is Architeuthis, or giant squid, the monster is much larger. The morphology of Architeuthis and Humboldt are very similar, with one big exception. The Architeuthis squid's tentacles are three times longer. 
Schmitz estimates an overall length of 108 feet, roughly twice the size of the largest known Architeuthus, and the same size as the largest known animal alive today, the blue whale. These estimates have impressed even the expedition team. I have to admit I was completely shocked by the final results and how big the squid that we filmed really was. It's always fun to me when you take people and high technology and you throw them in the sea and give them a mission to perform and see what comes out of it. Did this beast inspire the Kraken? History supports, at the very least, the possibility. This new piece of visual evidence indicates that there is still much to learn about what lurks in the sea's depths. I have a great regret that we were cut short by the weather, the hurricane that happened. Uh, it definitely gives us another reason to go back. So I'm hoping on the next expedition we can continue to make more discoveries. All I ask is that people look at the images that we collect and leave this with a childlike wonder about the sea and its secrets.